Hey, what's up, guys? Frank here with another video, and today I want to talk a video. I want to make a video about six reasons why print on demand might not be the business for you. Okay, so yesterday I talked about good things about the business model, but today I'm mostly going to talk about uh, about the, its weaknesses. Okay, so let's go right in. So the first weakness of the business of the print on demand business is that you must not expect fast result okay like if you start print on demand today don't expect to have like big sales tomorrow okay those things really take really really take time okay because print on demand business is really a long term business it's really about putting every day a lot of designs and then with consistency you get a lot of designs available and with the it's with the amount of designs and it, hopefully its quality as well uh, it's over time that you get the ball rolling and then the more you upload designs the more you are able to make money okay but these things come with come come with time okay and yes sometimes you can kind of cheat this a little bit using ads or social media for example like uh, you you have one listing that you think you'll do very great you can still you can uh, put it on social media or you can put advertisement on it it's a, it's a simple way to kind of cheat the code if you if you if you can say but mostly your sales will make money uh, with time by putting a lot of designs out there by putting a lot of of, uh, of listings of a label okay and these things take a lot of time you have to learn how things work and uh, that's basically a weakness number one okay but you see like it's a long-term business but once you have the ball rolling it's really cool because you get passive income without much work so that's something to invest in okay so that's tip number one then the reason number two is that you have to be able to be okay with un inconsistent sales okay and you'll you, you'll probably say yeah that's right for any business but yeah you, it's true but you have to be okay being comfortable with with inconsistent sales okay like some days you'll be better than other days and some months you'll be able to uh, to be better than other months okay and you have to be okay with it and another thing to keep in mind is that for print on demand the most the the, the money that you'll make is mostly on Q4 okay because Q4 there's Halloween there's Christmas and you know these months bro uh, at Q4 you it's mostly there that you're going to make money okay and um, you also make money on other events for example Super Bowl are usually great months uh, Easter and all kinds of events like this so that's for tip number two you have to be able to be okay you have to be okay with inconsistent sales and then reason number three is that print on demand is that it it's a business that everything is out of control okay it can it's it's an advantage but it also it can also be an inconvenient because you know like pr with print on demand you outsource everything to other companies okay and because you outsource everything to other company nothing is really in your control okay so it can be a good thing but it can also be a bad thing because like sometimes the customer service can be difficult and the shipping can be delayed and then customer cannot be happy like some of your customer can, are not happy because you know the shipping take time but you're not in control of the shipping because it's actually other companies that are doing it for you okay so those things can happen like uh, and this point is mostly I'm mostly talking about uh, print on demand let's say using Printful and Etsy or Printful and Amazon Seller Central um, this is not really relevant for let's say Merge by Amazon, Redbubble, TeePublic, those things are not related to this, but it's something to keep in mind, okay? Another thing that can, uh, that can happen as well is that sometimes the inventory might be a lot of stock, okay? Especially during the holiday season, the Christmas season, like there's a lot of problems occurring, okay? Because sometimes, like, uh, sometimes things get out of stock, the inventory is out of stock, and sometimes, like, uh, there's just so many orders on Printful, for example, that, you know, the shipping is delayed, the orders are delayed because there's just so much orders from anybody, okay, for, uh, from anybody. 
and uh, that's pretty much what it is. And another thing, since everything is is uh, outsourced, you can't really judge the quality of the product. I mean, yes, you can order some samples to s see the quality or whatever, but oftentimes when you upload a design on a website, like you're just uploading the like you're just uploading the your design to the website. Okay, for let's say. For example, Redbubble. I'm selling a lot on uh, on Redbubble. I've never uh, I've never actually ordered a product on Redbubble. Okay, I'm I'm selling a lot of Amazon merch as well. I've never ordered <laughs> or nor uh, a listing on a product on Amazon. Okay, so it's, that's just something to keep in mind. Um, I also uh, I also sell using Printful and Printful. I actually order some product. I actually order some products to see like. Uh, uh, all, the, all these things go so that's something to keep in mind okay you, you probably want to take the time to judge the quality of the product is like uh, to see if it if it if that's what you're looking for and that's and to make sure that what you sell is actually a good quality okay so yeah everything is out of control that's tip that's reason number three okay sometimes since everything is out of control everything is outsourced you cannot be in control of, of everything okay so sometimes problems can occur and like you have like you have to deal with it okay so that's reason number three and then the reason number four is that you keep in mind that since uh, since print on demand is a very low risk business without much investment you have to keep in mind that there's a lot of competition okay like uh, for example Amazon merch is really popular because it's really like being emerged by Amazon is really cool because you know there's no investment, there's no hidden fee, there's no it's easy to get on, it's free. But there's a lot of competition, okay? There's a lot of competition, there's a lot of people that want to sign up for Amazon merch and not everybody gets in, okay? And uh, you have to be okay with it, okay? And even if you get in some of your design, especially if you're a creative person, okay? Let's say that you're uh, actually a good designer and you create your own designs for, for yourself, okay? But you have to expect other people to sometimes duplicate your design, okay? Because let's say, for example, me, like, I don't really create my... Own design. I mean, I create my own designs, but I usually take other great listings that are doing well, and I try to kind of replicate the same thing. But that's kind of the business you're getting into, okay? So, I mean, it's great to be a creative person, but you have to expect that if your listing is doing great, okay, if you're creating a design that is selling well, you have to expect other people to kind of copy or duplicate your listing. It's something that's going to happen. And you have to be okay with it, okay? Because there's a lot of competition, a lot of people are trying to make money, a lot of people are in in these markets, so you have to keep that in mind, okay? Uh, and then reason number five is that since you're use most likely you're using established marketplace, okay? And uh, these customers that buy from you are loyal to the marketplace, not you, okay? So for example, if you sell on Amazon Merch. And uh, some customer buy your listing. Well, the customer, okay, trust Amazon. They don't trust your company. They don't trust your brand. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind. So, if, for example, you're trying to build a brand, or you're trying to build a relationship with the customer, or you're trying to uh, build an email list, or whatever that is more long term it's very hard to do it because when you're on these marketplace people trust the marketplace they don't trust really the brand that you're creating okay so one of the things that you can do to counter this problem here is to make sure that your listings and that your stores on these marketplace actually have a good rating okay so for example you want to make sure that on Amazon uh, your listings have the best rating possible okay they have good reviews okay they have they, they have five stars and they have good reviews and for example on Etsy you want to make sure that uh, they also have a great star you want to make sure that uh, you're a great seller because it's really these things that are going to put yourself in a better position okay 
So that's something to keep in mind. That's that's reason number five. And then the last point, which is reason number six, is that trademarks can be quite painful to deal with, okay? And that is because you cannot upload anything that you want, okay? I mean, that would be great to be able to upload anything that you want, but like you actually have to follow of rules like you have to actually follow a lot of rules and guidelines okay for example like let's say that you like spider-man well you cannot actually like upload anything that you want about spider-man because like spider-man actually have a trademarks and because of that you're not able to sell everything about it okay and for another example a few we a few years ago there was a game that was really popular the game among us okay and uh, this game became quite popular back then and because of that like like a lot of people wanted to create design about this this game which was among us but you see among us was actually a trademark and it was not allowed to create and sell merch about uh, among us so because of that a lot of designs were rejected and a lot of accounts were closed or suspended so that's something to keep in mind okay so to keep your account healthy you actually have to make sure that uh, your designs and uh, what you're doing on these platforms actually follow these rules and each platforms have their own rules so let's say a design could be okay on one of the on, on one of the platforms but the same design could not be okay on another platform okay and so that's something to keep in mind because oftentimes your, resi uh, your designs, if they don't follow the rules or the guidelines, they could be rejected or they could completely close your account in some cases. Like, uh, for example, I got my, uh, my account closed two times on Zazzle and one time on, on uh, Society6. And also on K KDP, I also have my account that got closed permanently okay so that's something to keep in mind you have to make sure that you follow the guidelines and usually they will give you some warnings before that but at some point they will completely shut they could completely shut down your account okay so you have to make sure to follow the rules and to follow the trademarks okay so that can be quite uh, something to look into okay so that's what it is guys that was my video about six reasons why print on demand might not be for you so it's kind of like some weaknesses of the business model and i hope that this video was helpful to you and let me know if you have any question okay